welcome to episode four of the COVID Chronicles, the interview series where we explore some of the experiences of Horizon Pharmacy staff members during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I'm your host, Heather Naylor, the Pharmacy Research and Education Coordinator. And today on the podcast, I have joining me Sheila Murphy, who's a pharmacy technician from the Miramichi Regional Hospital. Um, So welcome, Sheila. Thank you, Heather. We're happy to have you with us today. So, Sheila, would you like to introduce yourself to our listeners and tell them a little bit about you and what you do? Yes, I, I would. Thank you. I, my name is Sheila Murphy, as Heather has said, and I am a registered pharmacy technician. Primarily, my job here is the materials management part of it. I do all the anything to do with inventory, ordering, receiving, and keeping up the inventory. So, that's that's basically my job in this department. And Sheila is also one of the members on our Regional Pharmacy Education Committee. Yes, I am. Sorry about that. I forgot about that. So, Sheila, we'll get started today. I have a few questions for you um, that we can go through to hear about what the experience has been like at your site. Yes. So, before the pandemic versus now, how has your role changed during the last couple of months? Well, the last couple of months, I... Like I say, I'm primarily back at my desk here at Materials Management, but I do do a weekend a month, and I have some checking shifts that I work as a pharmacy technician out in the pharmacy. And once this has all all went down there in March, we uh, split up into teams, and I was not part of a team out, out front, we would call it, out in the pharmacy. I come back to Materials Management full-time then, and just so that the people that were back here in their desk could stay, you know, away from the people out front and just kind of be segregated more so than being out with everybody. We felt that with the job, the way the materials management was and how many changes there were, it was better to have somebody here full time and to know what the day before was and somebody just coming new into it all the time. Great. And with some of those changes that you face, Sheila, what what are some of the biggest challenges that happened over those weeks having to transition to a different role? Well, uh, like I say, that when when it hit, we uh, McKesson was they put a lot of filter. Well, they filtered every drug basically in their in the warehouse. They so instead of me being able to order ten of a product, I could order maybe one. Or maybe it was a product that I couldn't order at all. So I'd have to then call and get McKesson then to say, you know, I I need one bottle of this. Is it it a filtered product? Yes, I'll I'll send you one on that PO. That took a lot of time. That took, in the beginning when you ordered maybe a 60-line order, there might have been 30 things that weren't coming. Or you might have, like I say, you know, Three of them might be coming, but instead of getting 10, you got one. It was very frustrating at the time, and uh, we worked through it, though. We got through it, and the first month, and likely the first month, it was was really, really rough back here. McKesson changed their ordering times to 4 o'clock, end of the ordering time, and that, you know, I had to change my ways of of doing my day, you know, so that I made sure that I had everything put in by four o'clock that's the same thing like before I could you know I had a little bit of leeway if I had to stay a little late I I, I could still place an order but now mm-hmm. after that I couldn't they have since changed that and went back to their six o'clock cutoff time which is much better now oh good well thank you so much on behalf of of everybody in the pharmacy department. I know you and the other people working behind the scenes on materials management and securing the drug supply chain had a big job the last few weeks and months and still now getting things in stock and making sure we have adequate drug supply levels. Um, so we really appreciate all you guys have been doing to get those medications. Thank you. It it has been a, a big struggle because we increased a lot of the critical um, items that we needed in, you know, to have in case someone was COVID patient here and in CCU. And it's a struggle when products are on allocation to begin with and then you throw this and you're increasing quantities but you can't get the quantities that they want you to have increased to so we've been all working together we meet weekly with a COVID group to 
make sure that you know if I have if I have a you know a, quite a bit on my shelf then well Moncton might say well I need some of that we've been very good at helping each other and moving product from horizon like, through horizon to if, if the other place needs it we can yeah we help out that's so, great yeah. but that's been a success working together with other sites very much so yeah. yeah what would you say some of your other wins or successes have been during this time it showed us that we can do changes I mean when they broke into teams here um, the, the, the technicians and assistants that did break into the teams that were here two days and then off two days and back it really showed that people have worked together. They 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 just went with the flow, and something had to be done. Everybody just pitched in and did it, and it, it really it, things could have went sour, but they didn't. They're south, I guess. They, it, but things things were good because people did pitch in and help out and just adapt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, the last question, we're going to flip gears a little bit, Sheila, um, but at, when this is all done, looking forward, um, what is the first thing that you want to do when we finally hit stage green? <laughs> Not have to wear a mask in the firm <laughs> or anywhere we go. You know, it, it, that's been a big thing for us to, when I leave my desk, I put a mask on to go out to basically still in the pharmacy, but when I go out to where most of the people are working, I put my mask on and it's, that'll be nice not to have to wear the mask. And I don't know when that's going to change, but it will be nice. Yeah, something to look forward to. That is something, and I know that's just something small, but it is, it will be nice. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So, well, thank you so much, Sheila, for taking the time to speak yeah. to me today. You're and thank you to you and all the team in Miramichi that all that you guys do. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This has been episode four of the COVID Chronicles, and we'll see you back for episode five in a little bit. Um, but thanks again, everyone, and have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day.